Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. Did that really happen, or are you simply being overdramatic? Of course it happened! I heard it straight from the horse's mouth! Oh, she is a rather horse-faced girl, that's a story of cricket. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Half of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I could afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. What do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment. And the headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. Does it get any more cozy? <laughs> Astoria Cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. He truly is rather foul, isn't he? All he 
does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, oh, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Could it be a Merlin trial?
something near the salad. You've one less follower, Ranrock. Intruder in our midst. The ministry ought to relax their feet. Rebellion. This looks intriguing. Petrificus totalis. Rebellion. Petrificus totalis. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Someone make it out of here, you weak silly child! Revelio. Expose them. You'll feel that tomorrow. I know you're the one who stole our hippogriff. <laughs> Rebellion. Revelio. Prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Lumos.
Revelio. I should investigate. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Calm down, I'm here now. Calm down? Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me! Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I'm a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. What if I don't want to return you to the Three Broomsticks? What on earth do you mean? What if I took you to the Hog's Head instead? I've heard such nice things. Huh? What a funny little joke. Now, the Three Broomsticks, please. Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. This looks intriguing. Revelio. You've made a mistake. How nice to see you, my young friend. Confringo! Deposito! Accio! Levioso! That curiosity young people tend to nurture never ends well for them, does it? Bombarda! I would say that Irondale is not appropriate. Time for a jolt, I'd say. You've heard quite enough, Bob. You're that hypocrite thief. I want to move. Well, I'll get that job in help. No. So, the hunt begins. I'll never meet a beast. The beasts are safer now. Revelio.
Bombarder! Repairer! Rebellion. Are you a troll? All your heavy stamping about is going to damage my frame! the meaning of this but this isn't the three broomsticks no it's not it's the hog's head did you fall into a cauldron of stupid potion you've brought me to the wrong place it's absolutely vile in here oh give it a chance you might grow to like it please you can't mean to leave me here please goodbye ferdinand Enjoy your new home. Oi! I normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. Ah. Please! You can't use me as target practice anymore! We may not be scholars, but you could have at least got yourself dressed. in the heart, if you please. Alfred Lawley's none too pleased. Seems he's been burgled. I shall pretend I never heard the rumours of your involvement. <laughs> 